where I'm from, it's, it's not a lot of um, opportunity that's that's alive. It's pretty much, you know, you either game bang or the only way you can make it to college is if you have a scholarship, you know. So if you can't play ball, then you're not going to go to college, you know. Having grown up in a rough area of Carson, California, for Malachi Mungale, football has always been much more than just a game. Sports has always been, you know, uh, an important part of my life. But, uh, you know, at one point, um, my family is, is involved in, in a lot of gang activity. And um, so there was a time in my life where I tried to choose to do that as well. And then um, there was only, there was just a point where I had to choose one or the other. I didn't know any specifics, but I knew he had, he had been hardened. He had seen things or he had been experienced things that um, kind of molded him into that way. There was one experience in particular that would change Mungale's life. I was 16 when I got stabbed. Basically, I went to this party and I didn't have no protection, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have no, no gun, no nothing. And uh, I just got caught spitting. Somebody came up in the, uh, in the party and, uh, and said something to me. I couldn't hear him over the music. And I got too close and bro stabbed me and just ran. The stabbing caused severe internal injuries, but after making a remarkable recovery, he found strength in his faith and a renewed sense of purpose. There was a lot of um, the doctors saying that I wasn't going to do, uh, that I couldn't do what I'm doing today. I lost a kidney and lost my appendix, and there's a whole lot of things wrong with me. But um, that is when uh, I felt that uh, God was trying to get a hold of my life, and he was just trying to uh, show me that you can't do both, you know what I'm saying? It's either this way or that way, and I, and I chose this way, you know, his way. After exceeding doctor's expectations, Mungeo returned to football and went on to earn a scholarship to UH. Now as a sophomore, the resiliency he's shown his whole life has rubbed off on teammates and coaches alike. He doesn't give up. He won't give up. I don't know what he's been through, but the way he plays the game and the way he influences this team I, I love Malachi. This is like bigger than just uh, just a game to me, you know. This is kind of like my ticket. Like this is this is just my life, you know. If I wasn't supposed to be playing football, then honestly, I don't I don't believe God would just heal me and uh, allow me to, you know, what I'm saying come back. I'm just blessed that God has given me the uh, the ability to play, you know. And uh, I'm just trying to take that as far as I can.